Continuing our uh, exploration of quantum body, quantum mind, quantum universe. Um, let's raise an important question that a lot of people are raising right now. And the question is, could uh, quantum events or quantum fluctuations be mental events? Is the mind quantum? Is consciousness quantum? Is the universe a mental creation? So let's um, is let's uh, kind of examine this uh, from what we know currently in current science and quantum mechanics. Remember, I'm not a quantum physicist. I'm a neurobiologist. Not even that. I'm a physician, neuroendocrinologist. But I've been kind of transfixed with this idea that uh, the mind is quantum, that the universe is a mental creation. So is there any evidence or is there any reason to think like that? Quantum fluctuations are tiny random changes in the energy of what is called the vacuum. And they are predicted by the mathematics of quantum mechanics. These fluctuations are constantly happening all around us and they could potentially have a role to play in our mental processes or in fact they could be mental processes. So one way that quantum fluctuations could be involved in mental events is through the process of what is now clearly established science and that is quantum entanglement. So entanglement is a phenomenon in quantum mechanics where two particles are linked together in such a way that they share the same fate, even if they're separated by large distances. This means that one particle is, if one particle is affected, then the other particle will also be affected instantaneously without a signal going through without any mitigation in the robustness of the correlation or the entanglement. Some scientists believe that entanglement could be used to transmit information between people's brains. What is information, by the way? Information is the resolution of uncertainty based on what? Memory. And, you know, so the reason I know what 72 degrees um, Fahrenheit means, that information, because I have a memory of how to interpret that. Okay? So information is actually derived from memory, is an inter interpret, is a derivative of memory. And memory, of course, is a derivative of consciousness. So information when it's transferred between two brains could potentially allow us to com communicate with each other, even telepathically through quantum entanglement. Another way that quantum fluctuations could be involved in mental events is what we understand as quantum tunneling, which is you know, a, a, a particle moves from one location to the other location without going through the space in between. So quantum tunneling is a phenomenon where a particle can pass through a barrier that is classically impossible to overcome. You know, it's, you know, you have a, you have a wall uh, and normally things can't go through the wall. So this quantum tunneling where particles move from one location to another location without needing to go through the space in between, also quantum jumps uh, could actually um, allow for the transfer of information between different parts of the brain that are not physically connected. So, you know, when you have a thought or you recall a memory, different parts of the brain all suddenly fire together uh, and somehow um, there is experience. How do these different parts know how to 
fire together to phase and frequency lock in that could be many things it could be entanglement tunneling etc so it is possible that quantum mechanics um, applies to the brain that the brain is a complex quantum system now i would go further i would say the biology is a complex quantum system where every activity in every cell is correlated with every other cell so there are now many theories with actually mainstream scientists and that uh, are beginning to look at the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness uh, there's one theory which is called the quantum mind theory this theory that states that the mind is a quantum system and that consciousness arises from the quantum interactions of neurons in the brain so i don't agree with this theory i think the mind is a quantum system but those quantum interactions give rise to the activity of the brain the other way around and then there's something called the quantum annealing theory annealing as in a n n e a l i n g this theory states that the brain uses quantum annealing to solve problems quantum annealing is a process that uses quantum fluctuations to find the lowest energy state of a system so i wouldn't say the brain is using that the brain is what the mind looks like as an object but the brain fundamentally is following the same laws of quantum mechanics and so the quantum annealing is occurring in the brain and is ref uh, sorry is occurring in the mind but is reflected in the brain and then there's a, another hypothesis that is now being uh, talked about is the quantum consciousness hypothesis this uh, hypothesis states that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe now we're getting there and it uh, uh, it uh, is not limited to the brain in fact consciousness localizes in the brain through a phenomenon that aldous huxley called uh, the reducing valve uh, when the infinite consciousness uh, like a beam um, shines the spotlight in a particular location and when it does that then it seems that con consciousness is emerging from and um, the where the spotlight is focused in this case the brain or the body or an object uh, that uh, is probably how it works that quantum consciousness is the universal mind quantum consciousness is the universal mind and if you want to actually modify that you can say the quantum consciousness creates the universal mind okay because mind is a modified form of consciousness already conditioned however it is conditioned okay the consciousness that modifies itself as a mind abilities superposition entanglement uncertainty principle and um, collapse of wave function when one um, one particle is seen and before it is seen it is entangled with all particles so uh, my friends given all these theories uh, now that uh, are being looked at um, by ph ph physicists philosophers and neuroscientists and i think that's good philosophers physicists neuroscientists coming together we may finally come to the inevitable conclusion that there's only one consciousness and it modifies itself as the universal mind <laughs> and that universal mind is quantum in nature and it appears as all the forms and phenomena in the universe but those are appearances okay that's how quantum fluctuations 
appear as the physical world. But those quantum fluctuations are mental events in God's mind, which in turn is a modification of the supreme infinite consciousness that can differentiate into several universal minds, creating several universes, probably infinite universes. And that would be consistent with uh, string theory, multiverse theory, and uh, some of the current topics that are being discussed in uh, physics, philosophy, and neuroscience, and of course, astrophysics. Bottom line. Conclusion. The universe, universe is a mental creation. And you and I are participating and co-creating the human universe with that which is universal in all possibilities. This is the human universe. And this is the universal mind that is connected to the human mind. Now, that universal mind is part of an infinite field of possibilities, the field of awareness, and the knower of the field of awareness, which knows itself in so many ways, species-specific, but also culture-specific, but it could be also in the cosmos, universe-specific, which means that each fragment of the infinite awareness or the field of infinite awareness, each fragment differentiated from the field of infinite awareness is a universal mind creating a universe which is totally different from the universe that uh, human minds know human minds and in the human mind are all these other species specific minds but what is it that knows the human mind and the species specific mind it can't be the human mind it has to be something that differentiates into the human mind so i hope i haven't confused you but um, uh, if you were to summarize this in one sentence we would say the universe is a mental creation in God's consciousness or the divine consciousness, which is uh, modifying itself as um, the quantum mind. The universe is a mental creation.